Always defeating niggas, creeping like a hound dog, all up on the scene. Analyzing shit, my style is so mean, like a murder scene with yellow tape all around. I'm a savage. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Sweet Tea, in the mother freaking house. And I'm just coming at you this morning. I'm at work. Getting ready to go in here and knock out these eight hours. You feel me? Nine hours. You feel me? So, yeah. Um, I'm going to be vlogging for you today. Not at the job, but, you know, giving you some bits and pieces here and there. And then bring it on in to the house. You feel me? Um, when I get home, then I'm going to do some more for you. You feel me? So, yeah. Uh, last night I made a video when I went to the hospital with my little girl. Y'all can check out that video. Um. Uh, so, it's more than that about just going to the hospital. I let you drive with me to the gas station and um then i took it home and sat on my bed and did a little talking so y'all check that one out i got several vlogs i dropped here on my channel so y'all check them out okay but um what else i want to say i got a headache i'm not feeling too good today with this headache i've been running a like a pressure headache from day to day well since yesterday i say and then a few days back another headache so yeah that's what i mean um yesterday at work work was kind of hard slow steady but at times it, it peaked up when it was like a lot of people for me to deal with and um, i did what i had to do but um i made it work i made it happen i'm gonna start my new job and uh probably around thursday i got a second job and it's on uh, driving for Instacart, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing it now, but I gotta wait till my off days. You feel me? So yeah. So y'all stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging some more today, so stay tuned. I might even let y'all see me eat lunch. When it's lunchtime, I always come to my car, and um, I eat my lunch in my car. You feel me? I listen to the radio. Uh, it's 95.7 to beat. I always listen to that. And um, I just eat. I Before I left the house, I had fried me some fish. And I ate, well, for lunch, I fried fish and french fries. And then I ended up um, having to leave the house because I made me a bowl of cornflakes and had to uh, go to Family Dollar to get me a gallon of milk. One thing led to another child. I ended up getting me some artwork that I saw there, some afrocentric some Af it was some beautiful pictures of these women i'm gonna show you that when i get home what i purchased at i'm gonna do a little haul for you too what i purchased at um family dollar today okay so y'all stay tuned for that but they so pretty i couldn't resist it and then i bought me some um some special cups with the lids on them with skulls on them they're so pretty and i bought me this strawberry hand soap but i'm gonna show you everything and everything so yeah i had to take on a second job to make more money because i like going shopping and i need gas in my car consistently so i need a second income so yeah that's what's up y'all stay tuned okay um you're new to my channel thanks for subscribing to my channel i mean you didn't subscribe but i, I would like for you to su subscribe i meant subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification button for when your girl do what drop them bangers and that's on everything because I always stay dropping them. So, yeah. All right. Glad to have you here. All right. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys. Right now I'm at work. And I'm in the OGP room. I wanted to show you what I'll be doing in the run of the day at work. So, right now I'm looking for orders. A certain order. There's people out there in their cars waiting for me to bring them their order. So now I'm in the freezer pulling out an order to put with this lady's um, whole order. You know, I'm getting it ready. Looking for stuff in the freezer. I got the phone in the freezer. So 
so y'all can see it from that aspect. So, yeah, that's the TC I just grabbed in my hand. I'm looking to make sure because I don't want to mess up nothing. I don't want to leave nothing out, so I have to double check and make sure I got all the ladies ordered together. So now I got it all together and I'm going to scan it with TC. And when you hear the little the sound, that's me scanning it. See, right there, I'm scanning it. It lights up and you can hear it scan. And it's on a dolly. Okay, so I'm gonna walk over and get a handle to go on the order. But I'm double checking in my TC to make sure. Oh, I can see right now that I had to go get something else because everything been scanned. The TC will let you know if there's something missing out the order. So I'm double checking and I'm getting ready to sign off on it. See, I'm signing my signature right there and I'm done. So that's the handle that goes on the dolly to pull the order out to the customer. See, I'm putting it on now. I'm trying to handle the phone and the handle for you guys so y'all can see how I do this. Okay. Complete, okay, and that means it's in place. Now I'm getting ready to pull it out. It's like pulling a wagon. I'm getting ready to pull it out the door. I take the key and unlock the door. It's a key card. And I open the door. And I'm going out there to take the order to the place. And that's it. That's me again. I wanted to show you from another aspect. Me getting orders ready. Lifting up all these heavy things. Um, they be so heavy. Um, these bins, they be like full of water and products. And, you know, mainly groceries off the shelves and these are items and whatever just be heavy especially in case of water because people be thinking it's gonna storm the tornado coming through or whatever uh, ever since the pandemic been going on they just be stocking up on waters a lot and food in general so i do a lot of lifting in my back be killing me but that right there is the cart that's what the associates push around the store that's the part of my job to push it around the store and pick out groceries for the customers. So now I'm putting it in the freezer. You have to take it all off the cart when you bring it in the OGP room and go put it in the freezer if it's only cold stuff. It's, it, it'll say on that cold, I mean, it'll say chill or frozen. So you put, we got a chill freezer and we got a frozen freezer. So now I'm getting ready to bag it all up. I was not supposed to bag it up because I'd be busy taking orders out to the cars and my co-worker's supposed to bring the order in and bag it up themselves. But in this case, they left it in there with me. They had to hurry up and go back picking because we had a lot of orders going on. So I had to pitch in and bag up their stuff, my co-worker's stuff. That's what they supposed to be doing. So here I'm bagging up meats. There was a lot of meat in this bin. Steaks and bacon and hamburger meat. I'm bagging it all up and putting it up. But I'm staying vigilant because I have to watch out. I have to look in my TC. You can hear a sound go off on the TC. Let you know somebody just came up in the parking lot. So sometimes I have to leave that alone and go, you know, get the order together real quick and run it out the door for the people while they're waiting. Because you can take too long and there be so many people out there in the parking lot. So anyway, I'm putting it in the freezer right now. That's why you don't see me. Next.
Okay, I'm home now. I'm going to show y'all what I got. Like, early on in the video, I told y'all I had went to the Family Dollar. So, yeah. I went there, and I saw some um, beautiful artwork. And so, I'm going to show you that. I had purchased it. And um, so, let's get on with it. Now, here's a cup. This is so pretty. Got all my favorite colors in it. And it was $1 at Family Dollar. A skull cup with flowers is so cutie. I love it. Uh, right here, this little hole you drink out of it. Purple, by all means, is my favorite color. And this combination of purple and black, I just love, love, love. You feel me? So I couldn't resist it. I had to get this cup. I'm like, mmm, that's too cute. Okay. And then this is the next one. I got another skull cup. How cute is that? Look at that, you guys. It's so cute. I just love, it's something about cups. I just collect cups all the time, but they have to be special with designs on them. I'm looking up because I have other cups that I collect. Let me show you my other cups. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So this is one cup that I got today as well so pretty it's see-through with all the pastel colors it's pineapples and leaves and all that stuff on there it looks tropical and i love it you know i juice watermelon a lot in my blender so i can just put watermelon in here or whatever i make my own ruby red grapefruit juice i always squeeze those and um put honey and sugar and water and let it chill and it be the best ruby red grapefruit juice ever honey so yeah because i've been trying to eat healthy and everything so yeah okay so let me show you when i was looking up i was looking up on my refrigerator at my cup collection i had got this mickey mouse let me get it out for you both of these cups came from a thrift store see I'm like a cup collector. I love design cups with, you know, prints on them and stuff. It's just so cute and nice to drink out of. I love it. And next I have, um, I, okay, so my next cups that I have got, I always get it by the set. Is my emoji cups. I just love everything emoji. I don't know why I love emoji stuff. But yeah, I got these. Oh, dang, I think I got these. I just can't remember from Family Dollar. Or it was the Dollar Tree. Yep, I remember. The Dollar Tree. How cute is that? Look, pink inside, outside. All types of emoji. And I just love it. It's so cute. I love cups. And I put them on display, you know. And I drink out of them also. Okay, let me show you my, my next set. It's a set, but I don't see the other one right now. But I do have two of these. How cute is that? It's very cute. You would say it's a kid cup, but... It has prints on it. It's pink. I love it. I just like it. I like to drink out of stuff like this. It's so cute. I got another one that's up under my cabinet. I try not to keep them up under my cabinet. Okay. Oh, and I got this from um, the Dollar Tree as well. Now, here goes two cups that I found from. And they have lids that go on it. With a straw that go inside. I should have had it together. But the straws, I had end up washing the lids and the straws and stuff. And the reason why I buy two of each because me and my little girl were so much into cups. She's into cups as well as I am, decorative cups. So when we see designer cups, we be going crazy. And she be wanting it and I be wanting it. So me and her can drink out of it. Look, it says lemonade, fresh squeeze, ice cold lemonade. That's what it says. And it has, like I said, a lid that snaps on it with a colorful straw that comes out of it so yeah i love these and that's our birthstone color because we were born in august i don't know why i'm trying to talk like i'm from new york <laughs> but we were born in august okay now i bought this set of cups i bought the red ones and i bought the black ones and then i bought the plates that go with it you got your red plate for the red cups 
So we can eat in style, honey, when we eat in, you feel me? And then I bought the black plates for the black cups. And I think that's so cute. And I got these from Walmart. So yeah, that's my cup collection right there. And uh, my purchase of my cups today. Next, um, I'm gonna show you what else I had got. It was some, um... okay, next I had got some hand soap. I love, I simply love body wash and hand soap. And rumor has it, it's um, this um, person in the family, I don't know what y'all been seeing. Uh, other video my other videos my blogs and stuff but i made mention of someone in the family who'd be bashing me and trying to say i don't take baths i take baths just because they was around me a couple of times and they didn't see me take a bath but they, they sent somebody to watch me see if i'm gonna take a bath that night and i didn't take a bath and oh she don't take baths but the person that you know reported to them that i don't take a bath they don't take a bath they sell you feel me they don't even know what that person be doing because they don't even be around that person to watch them take a bath. They don't even take a bath every, every day or night like they supposed to. Okay, and I know this for a fact. Okay, but anyway, um, I got this strawberry. It's called Berries Blossoms Hand Soap by Nouvelle. And it smells so good. It's from uh, Family Dollar. Mmm. It's very um, strong scented and smells just like strawberries. And I just couldn't believe it was $1. So it's a hand soap. And I love it. My little girl loved everything strawberry. So when she came home from school and she noticed that I had it, she started washing her hands with it and smelling her hands and saying, Mmm, that smells so good. I said, I knew you would like it because you like strawberry stuff. Okay, in fact, here's some body wash that I got from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I got like a big collection and I'm going to keep on collecting body washes and washing my ass with it. You feel me? My body. You feel me? I'm saying it because every time I think of what that person says, it pisses me off. Then they had the nerve to say I'm jealous of them. Jealous of them for what? I mean, for what? And to be blunt, if I birth you in the world, what am I going to be jealous of you for? Everything you doing now, I done. I already did it. I always had the body, the booty, the the shape. I always been pleased with my body, and I always pull people, pull men with my body. You feel me? I ain't never, you know, liked in that area with booty and shit like that. You feel me? So, or looks. So what I gotta be jealous for? In fact, I look better than you. You feel me? So what I gotta be jealous for? And if you want to think you look better than, than me, let's say it's a tie. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say it's a tie. So what I look like being jealous of you, I'm just as cute. If not cuter, you feel me? So, yeah, ain't nobody got to be jealous of nobody. So, yeah, y'all, y'all going to be witnessing me saying the things in my videos that I have to say because people be doing the most. But, you know, the audacity of people to get on a video make a video, you know, going off on me and saying all kinds of stuff that um, I'm supposed to be jealous. I'm uneducated. Um, what else? Saying a whole lot of stuff about me in a TikTok video. It doesn't make sense because at the end of the day, I birthed you in the world. What you look like getting on there disrespecting me? You know, the nerve, the audacity. I I had you in this world, and you had the nerve to, just because at a teenage age, you stayed with your stepmom for a little while during the summer, so when you come back, everything changed, and you've been changed ever since, um, and turned turned on me, turned coat, I mean, straight out turned on me, it doesn't make sense, and then you want to put everybody on a pedestal, everybody's supposed to be way better than me doing better than me, living better than me. You don't look at it like that. You don't look at your mother like that. You just supposed to unconditionally love your mother. The Lord blessed you with your mom. A lot of people are not blessed to have a mom. So why would you bash your mom? Your mom is not perfect. Your mom did the best she could to raise you. 
You feel me? So why now you're a grown woman? You want to disrespect me and, and exalt everybody else. And everybody's supposed to be way better than me. And everything that everybody tell you in your ear about me while you gossiping on the phone, you eating it up and you loving every minute of it. And you agreeing with them and just dogging me out. Y'all on telephones and shit like that. Talking about me like a dog. It doesn't make any sense at all. I don't understand. It never will. I ain't never do nothing that bad to you for you to talk about me, treat me that way. And when I come in your household, you dog me out. It was all about money, 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 money. Money is the root of all evil. So you showed your evilness with the money. Oh, you didn't care about what happened in my life. I was going through a devastating, yes. still lives. I've been devastated. You supposed to be in mama. Are you all right? If you, if you need to talk, I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit, not weigh my money. Money, money, money. If you don't get my money, get out my house. I don't want you in my house. And everybody said this and everybody said that. That's the problem now. People talking too much and you gullible. You got to sit up there and listen to everything somebody say about your mama. Where the love at? Why don't you shut them down when they be talking? What kind of shit is that? Anyway, y'all, that concludes... Um, I, oh, no, it does not. No, it does not. I got some more stuff to show y'all. Like I said, I'm going to show y'all my last two purchases of the day. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to vent. Okay, y'all. So let me get on with the rest of the haul. Like I said, I bought these two beautiful pictures. You ready for it? Time. Ciao. Ooh. 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 They so pretty. Uh, Look at that. Look at the dresses. Just look at this artwork. It's so beautiful. It feels good. They got um, uh, shiny gold in the hair. I mean, not the hair, but the, you know, hair rags and stuff. Like gold leaf. It's gold leafing in it. All in the dress. You see that? This is so beautiful. I couldn't resist it. Okay. Let me show you the next one. so beautiful look at the dresses and in the dress it got that same gold leaf and then, you know same thing i was telling you about so i got two of them and i couldn't help it two of them so beautiful y'all i just love art love 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 it and they were ten dollars as you can see at family dollars yeah but um you know that concludes that but you know what I was talking about is just left with bitter taste in my mouth. I feel like an outsider. I feel like an outcast. I feel bad. I feel like, why me? Why come my own um, daughter uh, treat me that way and put other people on a pedestal and then was uh, all about money when I stayed with her and just treated me like a dog and, uh, you know, her teenage daughter treated me the same, you know. It was all kinds of bad vibes going on and uh, it was just bad. You know, and my mama had passed away, so I wasn't expecting none of that. I was going through a lot in my mind, mentally, my heart, and my soul. I was just trying to get up on my feet here. It just got me a job, you feel me? Um, in time I got the job, first paycheck, second paycheck. Give me, 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 I'll get the hell out of my house. You know, like, fuck you, you know, I don't give a damn because your mama died. You know, that's the attitude she had, you feel me? Didn't even care. Didn't, wasn't trying to console me and grieve with me or see as I'm okay. Tell me you here for me. The minute I get a job because I hadn't had a job in years, you supposed to say, uh, I'm proud of you. You know, you're doing a good thing. You're supposed to let me keep some of my money and say, keep your money and get up on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Just now nah, you're carrying on, cussing me out, calling people on the phone, talking to my relatives up out of town and they agreeing girl get your money girl you ain't wrong she wrong she did she that all of that old crazy shit you know nobody even thinking about that girl you know what i'm saying she hurting inside i'm sure she is she trying to get up on her feet that's my mom i love my mom i'm gonna beat up for her. i don't care what nobody else say and don't put nobody nobody else in our business i was humble i kept to myself while i was in the house but she wanted to just bash me act funny. I cried too to her, apologized, and she 
for whatever it was, I apologize. I really don't know what I was apologizing for, but I cried because it hurt me to the core that I was getting treated like that and dogged out in her home. Knowing, and I cried too, because I still wasn't over my mama. My mama just passed away y'all a few months ago. You feel me? But anyway, like I said, that's a whole nother story. I hope y'all like the haul. I hope y'all like the whole vlog that I did for y'all today. I'm going to keep on bringing it, keep on coming to y'all because I'm in the groove of it and I'm liking what I'm doing. You feel me? It's your girl, CT, and I got to get up out this thing. All right? Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button for when your girl do what? Drop them bangers! And that's on everything, y'all. Much love, y'all. Y'all stay sweet and do your people right. You feel me? Much love, y'all. Comment, like, and subscribe. And your girl out. Bye.